everyone and happy late New Year's! For my first video of 2017, I'm going to hit it off with a doll review. So put your paws together for Zombie Gaga! Now it's not uncommon to see dolls based off singers, but what makes this doll super cool is in the fact that it's two things I love. Monster High and Mama Monster herself! What's cool about Monster High Gaga is that she comes with the same skeleton and tuxedo outfit she wears in her Born This Way music video. Now, the bubblegum in her mouth is removable, but you gotta use a little force to pop that sucker out. Just in case if you forget this is a Monster High Born This Way doll, they added the text inside the back of her jacket. I wouldn't suggest turning this inside out and using it as another outfit. It has a lot of raw edges and you can see the seam lines if you turned it inside out, which makes it look terrible. She comes with another dress that repeats Born This Way over and over. It looks good on her, but it doesn't scream gaga enough for me. Now when I was trying to change her into her second outfit, I kind of found it hard to put her boots on with her stockings on. That's because there's a little extra fabric inside her stockings which kind of makes it too tight to put her feet in. So I struggled with that. Here's some defects I found in Gaga that I'm not sure if it's just mine. But the leg that was actually propped up in her box is actually weaker than the one that wasn't propped up. I can easily bend it compared to the other one. And when you change their clothes, you pop their hands off. Well, mine doesn't pop her hands off that easy. It's a little hard to pop her hands off. But you can see that what does come off is her arm. Because when I try to put her in other outfits, her arm actually falls off pretty easy. So I don't know if it's my doll or all of them. So. In the Monster High world, Gaga has been classified as a zombie, so I decided to compare her to my zombie doll, Gula. They do share a similar and maybe nose, the shape of the face may be slightly similar, but when I compared her to my skeleton doll, I could see that there was a little more resemblance. You can see they use the same paint technique that was on Gaga's lips that are also on the other girl's lips. And faces are a little more similar too. And the wide eyes. On the side you can almost see that Gula might have been inspired the skeleton which then ended up inspiring Gaga's shape. But you can't see in the picture but actually the little bone cheek actually pokes out more than it does the skeleton. You can see that Mattel is still using the same gray skin. And when it comes to stand up on your own, like a lot of Monster High dolls, she fails to test. So she needs a stand, but I'm a little disappointed at this. I mean, she's a collector's doll, but she comes with the basic Monster High stand that most Monster High dolls come with. I don't understand how dolls like 13 Wishes and The Haunted got their own customized stand and Gaga did not. You couldn't give her a triangle or something that screamed Gaga. Even with these issues, I'm still happy to have her in my Gooey collection. I think she's a great doll to have, and I can't wait to see what else Monster High has for us this year. So happy 2017, everyone, and have a good day!